Hey everyone, I wanted to share another new feature that you can add to your custom Copilot uh, build using Copilot Studio. So one of the frequent asks from our large enterprise customer is uh, ability to track user clicks uh, within Copilot Studio bot. Uh, this allows them to understand uh, end user behavior and also use this click data for auditing and compliance requirements. Uh, this data can also be used to optimize your uh, bot interactions uh, you, or optimize your top, topic designs based on the usage pattern uh, once you deploy your bot. So today I will quickly show you how you can capture the clicks, uh, uh, clicks analytics data as part of your custom copilot. Uh, please note that this solution only works with custom canvas since we uh, make use of JavaScript and direct line uh, to build this solution. So first, let me show you how the solution works. So this is an example of custom canvas. So I have a agent icon here. So the user can click on the icon to launch the bot. And if I type uh, click tracking, um, I'm presented with an adaptive card, which has two options. So you can see we have event one topic as the first option or first action, and event two topic as the second action. Um, so if I click on event one uh, topic action, it will launch a new tab and open the link that is associated with this. Um, same way for event two, it has a different link. And when I click on the event two, it launches a different tab and opens the link. So the idea here is to capture um, the user's interaction with the copilot. Um, so if I click on event one topic, it's opening this link here. And now if I go back to the canvas, you can see I have a pop-up box that shows which link I clicked. Um, I, I'm also showing that same uh, URL here. So this is to highlight that this information is available to you on your custom canvas. So if you want to drive certain behavior on your custom canvas using this data, that's an option as well. So if you want to take them to a new page, uh, once the URL is clicked within your canvas, you can do that um, since you have the information available to you. Uh, so now in terms of what data is captured for analytics, so you can see here, um, for this demo, I'm just showing a message, but you can also send this information to your uh, analytics service uh, if you have a centralized service that captures um, captures users click. So in this case, I'm capturing the name of the event or procedure. So in this case, event one topic is the name of this um, uh, procedure. Uh, user action was open URL because this is opening a URL. And then this is the actual link that was open in the, in the tab here in the second tab. So this is the information I'm capturing for this demo, but as long as your data is within the variable uh, for that topic, you are able to capture that information. Um, just to show you again, so now in this case, um, I'm clicking event two topic and it's opening a different uh, link. And now if I go back, you can see um, this is the link that user clicked. And now the uh, information that we captured shows event two topic, and then the action was open URL, and it has the second link that we, that we just saw opened in a different tab. So this is how you can uh, create a uh, click analytics solution that allows capturing of all the data points that uh, based on what user is clicking within your Copilot Studio bot. Um, so now going back to Copilot Studio to show you how this is uh, working. So I have a topic. So this is the topic that is getting triggered when I um, uh, provide an utterance. And it takes me to this um, node, which is asked with an adaptive card. So this is the adaptive card I have created. Um, and I'm capturing these three variables. So it's basically capturing the name of the action. It's capturing the action ID or the submit ID associated with that action. And I'm also capturing the URL that's associated with each of these actions. 
So these are the variables. Uh, I won't go into detail on how to create the adaptive card. It should work uh, for any adaptive card that you design. Um, as long as you are using Ask with an adaptive card node, um, it will allow you to capture the information that's needed based on your adaptive card. Uh, so once the user is clicking, uh, what I'm doing is I'm checking if user has made a selection. That means user has clicked something. If the user does not click on anything and just provides a different utterance or types something different or other than what's available within the adaptive card, I do allow um, the topic to be uh, switched. So you can see I, I'm allowing switching to other topics based on uh, utterance that pro that's provided by the user. But if the user does click on uh, one of these options available on the adaptive card, then I capture all this information. So the information that's within these variables. So in this case, I'm using a message node to show it as part of this demo, but you could also um, use an API to send this information uh, to your analytics service. Once the information is captured, the next step is to send the activity uh, to your custom canvas so that you can launch the URL that was clicked. So in this case, you can see I have event activity node. I'm sending um, the URL that, that's associated with the uh, adaptive card uh, to, the, to, to the custom canvas. And once the event is sent, I'm taking back the uh, user to the adapt, same adaptive card so that if they, they need to click on something else, they have that option here. So the topic goes back to this adaptive card. Um, so now this is the design on the Copilot Studio side. Now, just to show you how this works on custom canvas, um, here is the JavaScript that you have to create. Um, it's just a few lines of Java, JavaScript. So you can see I have an event listener. So you have to create an event listener that's going to subscribe to that uh, event, which is being sent from the topic. So in this case, you can see I have a uh, event listener um, here. It's li listening for an event called URL. And then if there is value associated uh, with that event, um, then I'm using that URL because I'm, I'm passing the URL associated with that click to this, uh, to the custom canvas. So I kept use that URL uh, to actually launch in a new tab. So you can see here, uh, and then I also created a pop-up for uh, the custom canvas so that you can actually see what URL was clicked. Uh, so the, I'll put this in the description uh, just so that uh, you have it for reference, but you can see uh, just with like 10 lines of JavaScripts, you can create this solution uh, that would allow you to capture uh, any analytics data that you need uh, for your use case. Again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment. Thanks again. Bye.